Dean TV! Sponsors. I'm just worried about Omar and Khadija. Oh, what's going on? I don't know exactly. Omar packed his bags and moved out last week. I'm so sorry to hear that, Miriam. Has Faith mentioned anything to you at all? About Omar, anything? Oh, honey, <laughs> Faith doesn't talk to me at all. But I can talk to my husband. They've been spending a lot of time together lately. How's Faith? Is she well? She still blames Islam from the misery of the world. But other than that, she seems to be doing pretty well. Khadija's going through a rebellious phase herself. Really? I hear she and Troy are talking. There's nothing good about a young girl dishonoring herself or her family like that. What do you mean? Is she and Troy? Aouda billah, nothing like that. It's just that she's putting on a grand show of being Troy's Islamic teacher. Oh, okay. I just thought they were talking for marriage. They better not be. So did you hear anything from the masjid board about Karima's basketball? No, why? Is something wrong? Well, we don't want to give the community an impression that it's okay for young girls to run around with little basketball shorts on. Uh, excuse me? I mean no disrespect, but we need to be teaching our young girls how to dress and behave modestly. <laughs> oh, so now is Aunt Islamic for girls to be healthy and play sports? Look, I don't have time for this. And here I was thinking that you actually wanted to spend time with me. I do, Karen. It's just that I have an Islamic obligation to say the right thing. I refuse to sit here and listen to this crap. You people pick and choose what you want to do, and you call that Islamic. Then you decide what you don't want to do, and you call that un-Islamic. Then you turn around and try to pass off all this cultural baggage as Islam. I'm not standing for it anymore. I've had enough. Assalamu alaikum. So you're staying at Troy's house? Yeah, I've been there for like a week now. That's really nice. I wish I had my own apartment. I've just been staying at other people's dorms every time I dread the thought of going home. Yeah, I don't mind staying at home too much. It's just, I knew I wasn't gonna get any studying done there. Mm. Too many distractions. My parents, my sister. You have a sister? She's coming to stay with you this weekend, right? Yeah. How do you think she's gonna take it when she finds out that you're Muslim? You haven't told your family that you're Muslim? I've been meaning to tell them. It's just, they're gonna give me hell. Susan's okay though. It's my parents that are gonna flip. Why do you say that? They're wasps, man. <laughs> white, Anglo-Saxon, Protestant. Two words, Omar. White privilege. <laughs> Don't you think that's a bit presumptuous? To realize that wasps are the literal top of the white privilege food chain? No, to judge Troy and his family when you haven't even met his parents. I don't need to meet his parents. I know Troy. Ouch. <laughs> no offense, Troy. It's just that it's pretty clear that you live a privileged life. Really? How so? Well, for starters, you're always talking about, I don't see color. And I don't. When I told you that I was agnostic womanist, you belittled me and then proceeded to tell me who I was. That's classic privilege. <laughs> I was just giving my opinion. Troy, how I identify and how I see the world isn't an opinion. It's my reality. That's only something I can decide. Yeah, you get to decide, based on my parents' wasp identity, how I see the world. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. We can agree to disagree. But I agree with Troy. I don't see color either. But it's okay if you do. I'm just gonna leave that alone. And even if I tried to explain to you what was wrong with what you just said, 
Your colonized mindset would just have you protecting white fragility. That's so sad. I don't know why she's so angry. Seriously, Khadija? You know what, just meet me in the car. I'm checking up on Faith. That was intense. Tell me about it. <laughs> so Khadija, what are you doing later tonight? Depends on what you have in mind. I was thinking maybe dinner and another tutoring session. I think we could work something out. What? You should tell her how you feel. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Omar, it's obvious the way that you look at her. You mean the same way that you look at Troy? I'm just saying, things worked out between you two, you could guide her back to Islam. Stop it, Khadija. You and our family would never accept her. Well, I'm done carrying around their cultural baggage, and I want to do what makes me happy, and I really hope you do the same. This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Islamic Relief USA, working together for a better world, and by Recycle Processes Incorporated. <laughs>